All right. All right. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Uh, Courtney Brannigan here, running in Ward 11. I am introducing my platform um, through the series um, of videos so that I, they are posted on YouTube, they stay on Instagram um, TV. Um, hello for friends who have joined. So today, uh, so I put up the, uh, the blog post today about climate resilience in Calgary. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read it to you today. I believe firmly that being a leader in climate change will set us apart from other cities. Addressing climate change and implementing climate mitigation strategies are not independent from economic prosperity. There is a clear shift in priorities across generations with younger Ward 11 residents demanding more action and while older Calgarians as well are concerned about our inaction. There are two strategies from the city of Calgary. There is the uh, Calgary um, Climate Resilient Policy and there's also a biodiversity strategy. Uh, on YouTube, I will link to those. If you head to the website, you can, you can take a look uh, at those on the blog. The, today at council, I don't know if it, I don't think it's passed, I haven't seen on the Twitter feed yet, but it was passed at parties and finance committee um, for the city to adopt a program called the Clean Energy Improvement Program. And this is absolutely the right move for Calgary to take. And this will support homeowners in being able to finance retrofits, um, clean, en clean energy retrofits to their homes through their property tax bill. So it's a, fi it's a financing mechanism. Recently, the Calgary Climate Hub surveyed Calgarians across the city um, on their sentiments about climate change and the need to act in Calgary. There is a full data set available through their website, uh, as well as candidate responses um, to their climate questions, which I uh, did answer. And so you can get those. That's again on the Calgary Climate Hub website. So a few highlights from the survey that the Climate Hub did. 86% um, of Ward 11 residents believe we need to get serious about get serious about taking more proactive environment actions. 73% agree with the statement that investing in climate change is an investment in long-term economic sustainability and prosperity. 71% of respondents either agreed or strongly agreed that candidates should be addressing climate change in their platform. So I'm gonna go, so yes, how does Calgary become a leader and what issues do we need to address immediately? to help us move forward to ensure we can have more resilient measures against the effects of climate change. We start by listening to the experts. I'm not the expert, but they are out there. But we start by listening to the experts on staff with the city of Calgary and leaders in fields, um, you know, in, in our communities. So I will commit to continuing to learn what Calgary can do. Here's a few of my priority areas um, in really short form. And please follow up to have a more in-depth conversation. So we need to use our land better. Sprawl is costly to the environment. We, um, by using our existing built city, it means placing people closer to services and amenities, thereby decreasing the need to travel, especially by car. Speaking of roads, we need to build infrastructure that supports active transportation, like walking and cycling. Uh, and our transit service must also give people timely access to school, work, and leisure. I have this, it's not my idea, someone else has come up with it, but I want to champion it. The sides of our roads, so like our major arterial roads, Deerfoot, Glenmore, Crowchild, like you name it, um, they require a lot of maintenance through mowing. The grass that we plant here that we spray seed as eh, not as eh, not Alberta friendly uh, grass that's just like it's garbage we'll just call it garbage so I believe we should be naturalizing our boulevards and our green spaces um, adjacent to these arterial roads requiring less mowing um, doing you know both shrub and tree planting along with naturalized um, pollinator species for better carbon capture and to better yes yeah, support pollinators we have an abundance of green space in Calgary and we can convert some of those spaces for urban agriculture. This can support vulnerable Calgarians who often lack the means to access fresh fruits and vegetables. Fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, and community gardens also become valuable social hubs which strengthen neighborhoods. 
in our park spaces. Our focus should be on perennial species, which support native wildlife and pollinators. This will decrease our need for watering. It can, uh, and then I will also say we need to build out our urban tree canopy, and that continues to be a priority for Calgary. Um, while established trees um, take water, or while establishing trees, it does take water, um, but once they're settled, they help to keep the ground and the air cool around them, um, and that is uh, further reduces the need for watering of lawns and green spaces. And we know also um, during climate heat events, um, that shade is really critical for people and for animals. Uh, due to our population growth and the decreasing availability of fresh glacial water, Calgary needs to be serious about decreasing our water usage. So there was a report released in May of 2019. Uh, I'm not sure what the update on is, is on that, but that by 2036, Calgary will reach its peak um, water usage limit. So that means how much water we can draw off of our water sources. There are multiple communities which also rely on the same water sources further downstream who are also um, suffering from increased climate events um, like the heat dome. Water is so critical to farmers who grow crops, um, which is a major economic source for Alberta. So Calgary needs to get serious about our water usage um, in the sense that we need to find ways to actively be decreasing it, both from users as a city, but also the education component for residents. With both hot summers and cold winters, Calgary is a really unique location to develop building materials that insulate against both the heat and the cold. Calgary could be a hub for the advancement of building materials if that economy is challenged to improve. Uh, I do recognize that building code is often a provincial jurisdiction, but I do believe that the city can um, actively ask and be talking you know, with developers and builders and that building code industry um, around better practices and better sustainable materials. So we can improve the efficiency of city-owned buildings uh, and partner with civic organizations that should be top of mind. Retrofits support the economy. Solar, the most obvious choice. So I would encourage the city to make green certification a standard for any partner buildings, um, like the new event center. And I believe that we can make solar part of the new green line strategy. So uh, there's also been progress on the extended producer responsibility um, and Calgary should continue to move this forward. So the extended producer responsibility is um, ensuring that those responsible for the packaging are actually paying for the recycling or disposal of those materials rather than the cost being transferred to the municipality, therefore the consumer. So these are just a few of the things uh, we can do to make Calgary more climate resilient. Most importantly, we need to educate Calgarians on the benefits of climate mitigation strategies and how work we do in this area will improve our lives socially and economically. Uh, advising Calgarians of federal and provincial programs should always also be part of our commitment to informing residents about how to make their own homes and businesses more efficient. Um, the federal government has released a program and I don't know that anybody knows about it. Um, so we'll see what that program is after September 20th, I guess. So that all said, forward thinking cities attract the best companies and the best talent. For Calgary to prosper, we cannot ignore how our climate action must be part of our economic recovery. I know that I have 40 to 50 years left on this planet, hopefully. And I want to, you know, all things going well. I want to be able to enjoy our city with clean air and fresh water for all of those years. And I want my families to have that. And I want your families to have that. That is so important to me. So let's continue to move forward. Let's continue to embrace the work that has already been done. Um, the biodiversity strategy needs renewing. So let's make sure that that becomes a council priority, um, you know, October, November onwards. And let's lead in this area. Let's strive for that. Have, that's, 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 that is like the condensed platform version. There is a whole lot more thought around each of those statements. So I encourage you to reach out, have a conversation. Tell me what you know about it. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Have a conversation with me about what your ideas are, how Calgary can be more climate resilient and climate, climate sustainable. And let's, let's build a better, brighter future together. Have a good one, everyone.